The Community Action Agency um, started off as the Community Action Council um, in 1965. Somewhere in the late 70s, the name changed to Community Development Council. And then in 2004, we became the Community Action Partnership. So there are three words, Community Action Partnership, which are all still very relevant uh, for the agency. Community is both the community that we try to serve and the community that wants to help us serve those who have uh, special needs. Action is not a passive word. That means you have to do something to help people out. And partnership means that we don't do it alone. We're part of a larger community and we work together with others to, um, to make things happen in the community to help benefit people, improve their lives, and get them out of poverty. 30-something years ago, Orange County was um, fields of trees, of oranges, fruits, vegetables growing all around. A community where there was poverty, where people were in need, but poverty wasn't necessarily the word that was used. But there were many families that were in need, and so a lot of families went to the Community Action Council back then to get assistance with their daily needs. Well, the mission statement for the Community Action Partnership talks about creating opportunities for people to become self-sufficient. So what I'm probably most proud of is knowing that no simple bag of groceries will ever make somebody self-sufficient. But we've all heard about Maslow's hierarchy of needs, that before somebody can become happy or self-realized or self-actualized, their basic needs must first be met. And the most basic need is the need for food. So we know that until somebody's need for food and then shelter is met, nothing else positive or impactful can happen in their lives, and I'm proud to be part of that. There's so much to be proud of. I think what I'm proud of the most is that we reach out to clients that are really the neediest of the neediest, and we're giving them services that they would not be able to get if it wasn't for us. Uh, the weatherization program is a huge part of that and being able to help people with utility assistance and make their homes more energy efficient is just a great process. My fondest memory was in Long Beach seeing the food bank truck and the people there getting food. I mean, we do it at our church. Okay, we give out the food and everything, but I had never actually seen the truck and the people and in line, and it was, it was really rewarding. The work we do at Community Action Partnership of Orange County connects with every sector, every fabric of Orange County. It touches so many lives, from those that donate, to those that volunteer, and to those that need our services, and to those that have to make policy decisions about how we help those that need our help. Community Action Partnership has heart. We love to help people. People will come to us to help us to put a dent into poverty. Community Action Partnership takes a very large issue and then addresses it in many different ways. It partners with many other agencies that are addressing that issue. So I think in the end, it really looks at ways we can solve problems. The programs that KPOC provides, the connections, the collaborations, the services that's given to the clients and to donors, as well as volunteers and board members, it empowers all of us to know and to realize that there's something within us that we can give to help make a difference in the world. And it just takes a little bit of faith, a little bit of belief, and a little bit of power to keep going to make change happen. The best example is myself, where they empowered me and they helped me start an organization. Uh, my organization started with the folding table. If it wasn't for Community Action Partnership, our community would not have been served until now. I was both a volunteer and worked at another nonprofit in Orange County. And I was familiar with the communicator, the newsletter for the then CDC that talked about the service that the organization provided. I had a, the opportunity to be hired by the then CDC, uh, not working in the food bank originally, but my first visit to the food bank was one of those transformative experiences in a person's life where I understood that there were vulnerable people in the community that didn't have enough food. The food bank had food and they simply bridged that gap between the people that didn't have food and the resources that they had and it was something that was exciting for me, easy to understand and something that I became very passionate about. 
KPOC has addressed those needs of homelessness, of hunger, food insecurity, uh, helping people with utility bills, conservation of energy, as well as education. And becoming involved with the community, we could share what the priority needs were for the people that we served, and KPOC would try and meet those needs of those services for the community. The people that are helped by KPOC often defy the stereotype. You know, it's so often than not when I meet and greet people, they imagine that the people who come to us only live in Santa Ana and only look different than them and maybe have different life experiences than themselves. But the truth is we serve people in every community of every faith and race and background. And oftentimes the people who are suffering symptoms of poverty are our neighbors, our friends, our relatives, our coworkers. Often the issues that people struggle with are hidden and not obvious, but the people that get help from an organization like KPOC are people exactly and precisely like ourselves.